Well, it's time for coaches' comments here with the head coach of the Stars, Rocky Russo, after a heck of a season for your Lincoln Stars this year. Rocky, a huge step forward for you guys from a year ago. A lot of guys back from last season's team. What did you say to this team a moment ago in the locker room? <laughs> I just, it's been my privilege to be able to coach them. And, and I'm a better coach because I had the opportunity to, to spend a season with them. I've been doing this for 18 years, and, and uh, it's really, really hard to win a championship. There's generally only one team that gets to win their last game of the year. And uh, this team exceeded expectations. This team battled and competed. The love they have for each other is, is something that, uh, that I, I will always cherish. And, and uh, this is one of my top top teams that I was ever fortunate enough to be a part of. And, and uh, I'm just, I'm sad for them because I, I do believe that uh, maybe we deserved a better fate, but uh, it is what it is. It's been a, it's been a hell of a year. And uh, it's been a long time since the Lincoln Stars were in the Western Conference Finals. Um, but our goal here every year, as long as I'm here, is to, to compete to win a Clark Cup championship. And uh, I'm probably going to take maybe 48 hours off, and then I'm going to start working on trying to win one next year. Laid a big foundation this year for that. And you guys had such a busy stretch at the end of the season here. Nine, t nine times playing in the last 15 days, 11 and 18 if you want to go to the end of the regular season. How proud of you were were you of this group to compete despite such a busy schedule down the stretch? I mean, they're so resilient, and and to play that many hockey games and the amount of travel that we had and um, the the bumps in the road that we've run into and you know it just they just it didn't matter. We just kept going. We just kept working and and uh, you know I I I'm sad for them. I'm sad for us. I'm sad for, for our fans. I'm sad for everybody because I do believe that perhaps we deserved a better fate, but that's a heck of a hockey team. And it won't surprise me at all if they win the Clark Cup. And, and you know, I wish nothing but the best of luck to Nick Oliver and his, and his team. But um, I feel bad for our boys because I do believe that we had a legitimate chance to win that cup this year. And, and unfortunately, we didn't just get the bounces that we needed. You had some great performances though, from your best players tonight. Mason Marcellus, four more points for him. Somehow no goals, just four assists. Doug Grimes, two goals and two assists. We can go on and on. Tanner Ludke scored once again. How, how, how special have been those guys and so many others to this year's team as, as that core of this group? They're incredible leaders. They're incredible hockey players. And you watch them throughout the course of the year, whether it's you know the three, the three forwards you mentioned or Brennan Ali or, or – Boston Buckberger or Antonio Fernandez. I mean, the list goes on, right? Like, those guys all have had moments throughout the course of the year where they put the team on their back, where they they, they had this, the spotlight shined on them and, and they stood up and they they willed us to victory. And it kind of looked like that was going to happen again tonight. And unfortunately, we just, uh, you know, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. And, and, uh, that's the tough part about sports because you can do everything right and you can work and work and work and, and you still don't necessarily get the results that you want. And, and I have a very love-hate relationship with that situation because, um, you know, we spend nine months developing and working and, and getting the team to this point and, um, and then it ends abruptly. And, and then, you know, you have a couple months off and you start over again like it's Groundhog Day. Um, but I love that too. I love that too. I love a new opportunity, a fresh chance to, to pursue a championship. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm going to miss the guys that are going to school. There's, there's a lot of really great guys that are going to school just like there was last year, but, um, there's a lot of really great, great guys coming back and, uh, and our draft was excellent and we've got some really good affiliate players and there's a very, very bright future here in Lincoln for stars hockey. Rocky, last question for you. What message do you have for the fans, whether they're here right now or not, for their support this season? It, we have the best fans in the USHL. There's no doubt about it. And the, the unwavering support, even when we're not playing well, um, sometimes people like to chirp at me a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um, 
but the unwavering support from all of our fans is fantastic. We love you. We appreciate you. You have no idea how, how important you are to our success. And so we thank you for, for coming out. We thank you for the love that you have for our players and, and for the star. And, and we hope that we continue to grow this. And uh, I know there's UNL sports around here, but I'd like the Lincoln Stars to be uh, mentioned in the same category as, as the Cornhuskers. No doubt about that. Rocky, thank you very much for your time. We will talk to you next time when that comes around. Joel, thank you. you you've done a fantastic job this thank year. You. And, you. and I appreciate working with you very much, so thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. It's been a and pleasure. thank you to all of you. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Stars, Rocky Russo. This has been Coach's Comments for a final time, brought to you by Southside Auto Tech. Can't really say it better than he did. Thank you, everyone, for your support this season. Can't wait till we're back here again in September. Have a good summer, everyone.